following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? Happy New Year too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. But you're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had the pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, a great year. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 30, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's up 4.5, gold contract up $4.40, trading at 1278 an ounce. Silver up 17 cents, 17 dollars and 4 cents an ounce. Copper. 312 a pound up four and a half pennies light sweet crude flat fifty six dollars seventy four cents a barrel notes ten year note down three ticks one twenty four nineteen thirty year bond up two one fifty two twelve king dollar king dollar up one hundred and twenty two ticks trading at ninety four four hundred the euro is at one sixteen and a half to the u s dollar the yen is trading out here at one thirteen and a half to the u s dollar our phone number is eight seven seven Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the gold market. That's where we're going first, folks. Let's go take a look at it. So, on Friday, what do you have on Friday? Well, Friday, folks, quarter past, uh, 10 past 11, you had a nice trade coming, to, coming down the pike, sending about uh, 40,000 contracts, and guess what? The market ate it, ate it up, spit it out, which is pretty amazing uh, because that gold market can basically get toasted and roasted uh, with a lot less than 40,000 contracts. Uh, and what, the, what does that say? Well, bottom line is that uh, that's saying to me that, guess what? You have just as many buyers on the other side, which is pretty incredible. So we're up four bucks right now, right? If it, what we also have, we have the 13F filings in, and you're going to see some buyers in here. If we take a look at the uh, the spiders, what you're going to see out here, this is now this is always 45 days after the fact. But the bottom line, uh, what you had, you had uh, Ray Dahlia there. He was out there last quarter telling people that they should be buying gold. Uh, bottom line, he was buying it hand over fist. He actually upped his position sevenfold. Uh, he came in and bought 3.3 million ounces, uh, or shares rather, of the uh, the GLD. And if actually, if you're watching Tiger TV, I'll put this up. Uh, you'll see the buys versus the sells. And there's some buyers in here, man. You had Bridgewater come in with buying at 3.3, Fidelity 2, Bank of America 1.7. This is all in the millions. BlackRock 1. Point, well, BlackRock would be an ETF. So that's not a big one. CI, it's not an ETF, though. It's 1.1. Uh, Shashquana, 1.1. Uh, Lot. These are all, let's see. Actually, Bank of America and... Uh, And BlackRock were already there. Uh, Fidelity, that's a new buy. Uh, that's as of September 30th. The uh, Bridgewater's is September 30th. And if we just do the opposite and look at those cells, what you're going to see is that the cells are there, but guess what? Dramatically lighter compared to uh, the buys. 
GE, yeah, GE, General Electric, man, oh, man, I'm telling you, the quicker that they get down to this uh, high of the low of 2009, the better off they're going to be. Bottom line, uh, this has been a one-way trade. GE was trading $32 December of 2016. You're at $18.79 now. You're getting a big expansion of volume. You broke another B point. You're breaking it with volume. Um, next stop is uh, 11.35. 11.35 is the high of the low. And bottom line, it doesn't mean it can't break the low, uh, but that wants to be tested. What has got tested out here and got blown away out here today is the other high volume low that they did have, which was on the, the week of the um, August 31st, the week of August 31st. So bottom line, um, they get a lot of work to do. I mean, a lot of work to do. Some of the higher volume stocks out here, oh, Roku, Roku, oh man, this is a trip. So Roku is up uh, $10. Uh, this stock has uh, gone topside a huge way. Now, well, they're, they're making money hand over fist. That's, that's the first part. They were expected to lose money. Bottom line is that uh, they're making money not only on the devices, but they're making it on subscriptions and they're making it on uh, advertising. Uh, bottom line, three days ago, Roku was at $18.56. You're at $43.55 right now. And uh, this had, starting out this morning, a 26.4% shot interest. So you can imagine that's, that's about as intense as you can get. Some of the higher volume stocks in this marketplace, let's go take a look at them out here. You have uh, Mattel. Oh, let's take a look at Mattel. Mattel's talking with uh, Hasbro. Uh, Mattel's trading $17.56, and this baby uh, is down off a high. Whoops, there she is. Off a high of uh, where is 37 bucks. They're at 17. One-way trip on the way down. No, no two ways about that. Uh, we'll see whether they uh, get together with Hasbro. Uh, Micron Technologies is up a dollar. You have uh, Qualcomm up two bucks. Macy's is down 70 cents. Let's go over to Macy's and see what's happening with Macy's. These retailers are just in tough shape. $19.27, and Macy's come out with numbers. Bottom line, you get a small bounce. We take this back a couple of years. You're going to see he's from 73 bucks. still has a high-volume low that's laying out here at $17.40. That wants to get tested. We'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, this baby is going to get back. Uh, into uh, also the 2008-2009 level. So retailers in general, folks, uh, having a tough time. Some of the uh, Dow stocks out here. Let's go take a look at some of the Dow stocks. You have uh, ExxonMobil uh, down f f four cents. You get Coke up 22. Disney's uh, down 33. We have uh, GM up 88. Um, before the open tomorrow, we're going to have uh, Advanced Auto Parts come out with their numbers. That's trading $82.24. Now, this is a, a, an auto pod company that has already got taken to the cleaners. Uh, I expect it is going to be more. You're, you're off a high of uh, 201. You're at 82, 82.24. And this baby looks like it's going to go after 60 bucks. So it's pretty intense. You stay right there, folks. We come right back. Dow Industrials up 30. NASDAQ up 12. S&P's up 4.5. We'll be right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Industrials right now up 28. You get the NASDAQ up 12. S&Ps are up 4.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the first segment. Don't forget, folks, Steve has a great show right here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, you can get his uh, newsletter, Mastering Probability. You can test drive this 30 days absolutely free. The way you do it, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters. You're going to go to trading newsletters. You see Mastering Probability right there. You can test drive it 30 days absolutely free. Steve Rose, what's going on? Well, you know, I absolutely love that Bloomberg terminal where you have just so much information at your fingertips. And and so I, I heard you talking about uh, Bridgewater and yes. the uh, the GLD uh, that they added. So we don't know what, what price is, but we do know the range would be between uh, July 1st through September 30th. Which is uh, which is the rectangle area that's on my chart. So yes. the lowest price that the GLD traded for back then was about 115, 11480 to be exact, and right around 128 and some change out there. So if we just divide it in two, it's right at about the 121 level that it's uh, that the GLD is trading at right now. Again, we don't know where he's at. Um, no big significant volume bars that you can see here. So I imagine it was some type of averaging, you know, along the way out there. So I just sure. love that. Love that Bloomberg terminal because it gives you such great information. It's quick. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can get this information other ways, but there's no, you doubt. know, yeah. It, but yeah, but but you know, right there at your fingertips, it's it's very. Cool. You know what so, the cool thing was on this too, folks? Okay, is that you know, normally someone in the, the finance business they're telling you to do one thing and they're doing something else, but Dalio was out there. What you know. He Clearly. said he bought it, and, but then he went up sevenfold, man. So that was after yeah. he announced that, hey, get get some gold, man. It's, so it's yeah, pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So I thought what I would do today with you is just take a look at the bigger picture um, as, far as, as what I'm looking at, mostly because, you know, the, during the Trader's Ed show from 1 to 2, I'm really – mostly taking a look at, hey, what's going on today? What's happening right now? So the, the shorter term picture. So I thought we'd start taking a look at the uh, bigger picture. I thought this was a pretty cool, um, you know, slide here. It shows the big bear asking the question here by the investment advisor, you know, would this be a good time to talk about investing your retirement funds, you know, in the stock market? And that's a question certainly that is on people's minds. So I thought, and, and the other thing, 
not just the Bloomberg terminal, but one of the other things I really love is how you coined the phrase talked, walked, and squawked. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and folks, and, and what Tom's talking about there is really generating information up at uh, swing point. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the swing point on this chart here, this monthly chart for the S&P 500, I show, you know, some of the major swing points inside the S&P 500. So really pertinent to, to what, the way I take a look at or use that term talked, walked, and squawked. I like to take a look at Japanese candlesticks and specifically uh, either during a move during a pattern or in this case here taking a look at what's going on at swing point so if we take a look at this is still the monthly chart for the S&P 500 same chart shows us that when the S&P finally pooped out in 2000 formed a bearish reversal candle a dark cloud cover that area was being tested back in 2007 gave us a nice bearish sash candle and it works at tops and it works at bottoms as the markets made their bottoms back in uh, July 2003 as well as uh, or 2002 and, uh, and in March of 2009 both of those bottoms were formed with these uh, piercing uh, candles out here very pertinent to the way that I take a look at the uh, long term or a really any time period of the market but today I'm talking about the long term area so that would then beg the question so where are we now in the S&P 500 and interestingly enough we haven't seen a monthly bearish reversal candle since September 2016 and we saw another one in June of 2015, uh, both of those were bearish engulfing candles. Very hard to discern the one in uh, September of 2016. But what that does for the S&P 500, should it decide to ever fall off a cliff? Uh, <laughs> yeah. what, what, what I like to take a look at, because those are... Those are resistance areas as well. And it's kind of like it's referred to as a change in polarity. And so the polarity went from bearish to bullish once you took out that uh, that 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 bearish engulfing candle yes. that it set up. So it gives us a range of support. We're at the 20, nearly 2,600. Gives us a range of support in the 2130, 2190-ish uh, type area out here. It, it, it can be used as a uh, momentum type move, certainly a breakout. Once you break out above resistance, well, then you don't really know where your resistance is, especially if you're at new all-time highs. And, you know, God bless Bud Rolfs for being able to create these horizontal trading ranges because they are wonderful tools ordinarily, but they're really helpful tools when we don't have any left-side resistance. And folks, what I'm referring to there is there, there's no other price on the left-hand side of a chart at any point in time for us to go do the squawk walking talking of measuring the swing point. So we need something else out here. And these are the horizontal trading ranges that show that from a monthly standpoint, the S&P 500 is headed to its next resistance level which is the 2665 level. So you're about 2580-ish as we speak right now. Should head up to 2665. Doesn't tell us when. I would presume it will be part of the continuation of this Santa Claus rally that's going on. Doesn't mean we can't have a pullback, but we should see 2665 by the end of the year. That may be a resistance zone. It should be resistance, but we'll take that when price gets up into that area. Another reason for me to believe that the S&P is headed higher is, number one, we don't have any type of bearish reversal candle. So until that forms, uh, that suggests prices will continue moving higher. Also, as far as a significant market top, one of the patterns that I discovered that is uh, present before every major market top is when price moves higher, it does with less relative energy. Now, it's a formula that I created uh, that is out here. And on this chart, it shows you the 2000 and the 2007 top out here. None of those are, that, that pattern is not present at the moment. Now, this is a monthly chart out here. So I'm talking longer term. Sure. So longer term, I still believe S&P 500 is headed higher. Now, if we take a look at during the last 52 weeks, because it was a year ago when we were dealing with the election. Hard to believe that. He, can you believe a year goes by that quickly? It's sad. <laughs> yeah, it is. But the semis and the NASDAQ 100, the two big winners, if we take a look at their rate of change, which is really what this chart shows, where we've seen the, uh, the NDX 100 up 32 percent. We've seen the uh, semis up 55 percent. So that begged the question, though, no, are they done? Well, when I take a look at the semis, your 100% move of a move isn't that far away. And we're inside that swing point for back in 2000. And that should take us into the 1362 level. But if we take a look at this chart, you're going to see it's in between 
horizontal uh, primary trading ranges or horizontal trading ranges. So really, it looks like the semis are headed to 1362 or 1504, about another 15 percent or more higher out there. And the reason why I say or more, if we actually take a look at the move from the bottom in 1998 to the high in 2000, if the semis are going to make a similar move, it gives us a price projection of 17.35. Again, no bearish reversal candle or anything in sight out there. So, my take: markets continue higher. The NDX 100 on its way to 88.45 over time out there. So, that is the bigger picture in the bull market. Prices rise and investors can't keep up. Like in a bear market, prices fall and investors can't get out of the way. And, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters. Go to trading newsletters. You're going to see Master Impermeability. Test drive at 30 days absolutely free. Steve Rhodes, thanks so much, man. You have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 39. NASDAQ's up 14. S&Ps are up by 6. We're going to be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials up 33, Nasdaq's up 11, S&Ps are up 5. Let's go to Luke in Nashua, New Hampshire. Hey, Luke, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing uh, some oh, it's nice low. rain here. What's happening, man? Yeah, it's getting cold up here. I heard. You guys get it was 20 yeah. the last couple of days, right? Oh, yeah, right. Man. It dropped. That's, that's cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cold. Hey, I bought uh, 
a call uh, December 22 on Amazon. Paid, uh, yep. I guess it was, 20, when it was 27. Okay, so right. uh, w w what's strike price? Uh, 35. Okay, 11.35, right? Okay. Yeah, right. Okay, okay cool. Nice. Okay. Okay, so uh, you got action here. So now you're in the money. Did you buy this? You bought this before today, right? Yes, I bought it before today. Okay, cool. So now you got you got the expansion. Your, your delta is going to be going almost uh, one for one. Now, is this, go, is this for this Friday? Uh, I bought it... Uh... Thursday, I think. No, I know, but I'm, this is this oh. expires this Friday. That's what I'm saying, oh, no. right? It, it expires December twenty second. Oh, December. You get December. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh. That's good. Okay, so that's it's gonna be a tough one. Um, I mean, it wants higher price. Oh, I know. Hold, one second. Hold. We do it this way. I think. I think this is an ABC up anyway. One sec. Yeah, it is. One second. Hold. It. So the larger portion. The real question is gonna be: Do you get the full thing? So you got eighty. 833, 1,083, one second. What do we got? It's a buck and a half. That's 931, 1,081. Oh, it's already over that, so it already did the ABC up. Real question is, is that maybe it's a bigger one. If it's a big one, you really got it made. <laughs> See, it's tough to figure yeah, out. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not as tough. Yeah, you, we can take this. Well, hey, I know it's, that's a weekly. On a weekly, it would be 710. That would give you another two. Let me see. 710 would be, uh, that's 273. A to B, 3140. Yeah, it's still 1104. See, this is getting extended. No matter what, even if we did the, the larger one, you still have finished it up. 1104 would have been the number. Right. Um, you know, hey, listen, the, the, the way that I'd trade this, you know, you're, you probably get a few more days on this than you're going to get another expansion. I mean, you know, you're coming into the holiday season. The market doesn't look like it wants to pull back. I mean, the market been going up from light volume for a good time here. Yeah, forever, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just don't stay to the party too long, man. Yeah, you know, okay, I'll just have to play it by ear, I guess. You know, because what, you, what you have, what you'd like to see is this. If you could get, like, a nice... One second, 2.5 million, 2.2 today. That would give you 1086, 1186. That's still not enough. 75. Well, that one there gets you at 1185. This little one here, if you got vol, if we get volume more than 2.5 million today, you could have another little ABC right there that started uh, the second of November. Oh, cool. And that'd get you to 1185. Then you're making some money, man. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed and keep my eyes open. There you go, man. Cooking, brother. Hey, I appreciate it, Tom, always. Uh, okay, man. Thank Have you. a great one. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at Google out here. So you get Google, flat, Facebook. That's flat, too. Interesting. Microsoft. That's flat, too. Man, they're all flat. So, hey, let's just go back. Let's go inside the NDX 100. So, Hasbro's the mover out here, up 6.4%, a 588. Hall, uh, Hall, just Hallex is up 4.2. JD.com is up 3.8. Regeneron is down 2.7. Liberty's off two, QVC's down 1.9. We go to Regeneron just for a second and take a look at that. So, oh, this is pressing the low with volume. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so let's look at this thing. So you're pressing 394. You get 241,000 versus 361. Yeah, this is this. 
This looks like it's going to go to a lower price. You know, it's going to need some more volume, but it's backing right into where the last time it had the bounce. And the bottom of that is 361. You're at 393 right now. We go take a look at uh, Walmart. So Walmart and Amazon are going to be the monster companies fighting this baby out. Walmart's at 91,415 right now. And that, I believe it just overtook its high. So 1997, yeah, that's the high out there in January of 2015. It just overtook that. And Walmart was in a, quite a consolidation, and Walmart was in a consolidation from 1999. You know, you can make the case all the way over to 2012, got out of it, got back into it, and then rejected it again, went topside again. Uh, so you get you, Walmart and Amazon, they're, they're the dogs that are going to be uh, out here in a big way. Uh, some of the uh, commodities out here today, we get copper up 1.5%. Natural gas is down 2.2%. That's deviant, right? You get coal all over the place and natural gas pulls back. Let's see what they have there. So we're back on 106,000 contracts. Gets up to the swing point. That swing point being 332. It's not a bad setup, though. This is, this is building cause to get up into that uh, 345 area. You, you come off the bottom. You had some juice off the bottom. Made a high of three. Th at 331, you have high. 133,000 contracts you're pulling back with uh, 100. That's not the end of the world. Uh, silver. Let's take a look at silver. Silver right now. Up 16 cents, 69,500 contracts. This is a nice setup. Uh, this is exactly what we need, too, inside the metal markets. I really want to see silver bust topside. Uh, it won't take much to get silver up into 1749. If it gets up and over that 1749, then you see some uh, real action. And I heard it's, it's snowing in New Hampshire today. Wow, that's... That's cold, I guess. You get there snow, it's cold. Uh, the XOM, let's go take a look at the Exxon's trading flat. Chevron is trading flat. And the oil market itself, crude oil is flat, $56.95. That still looks like a once higher price. Right now, we've done 249,000 contracts. You're at 56.96. And let's go take a look at the amount of volume in the market because this was, uh, well, it, it's like every day for the past, it seems like we're going on about two weeks now. We're hanging here. Yeah, the first time we were up here, October 27th. Yeah, just about two weeks. Kind of at the same place 25.78, 25.88. And the cash S and P. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects.
David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 19. You got the NASDAQ uh, trading up three. S&Ps are up two. Let's see... Uh, as we come into this uh, close here, uh, you get the S&Ps moving around uh, three points. A big move here. Big move in the S&P. <laughs> telling you. Uh, small caps. Let's go over to the IWM, see what's happening with the IWM. So the IWM, which is interesting here, is that that is the only industry that hasn't got to a high. Meaning, well, we made a high. That high was generated out here on October 5th. Uh, we reached 150.63. Uh, right now, today, it, was, it got down to 145.50. Light volume rejected it. So it's like, okay, man, this thing uh, is going to need a lot more juice in order to sustain lower price. Let me put this on a weekly just for a second. Just want to see if you got... Yeah, it's going to have to build some cars. It does have a high volume high at this uh, low, rather, at 145.28, which says that it will get tested. That uh, the real question is going to be, does it get in a, the, low, the lower range? The lower range... And the IWM is approximately 138, so it's a long way from where we are right now. We go take a look at the um, Qualcomm. Qualcomm is going to be the next fight on the block between Qualcomm and Broadcom. Uh, Qualcomm right now uh, is trading up two dollars at sixty-six dollars sixty-five cents, and the uh, the Broadcom deal I believe is at seventy bucks. Uh, this has been trading lower. It's been trading under that level. And let's see what Broadcom is doing. So Broadcom, whoops. Broadcom right now. Okay, so Broadcom's down 79, 264. It's not a bad looking chat either. Look at this. These these chip stocks, man. Holy cow. Yeah, 30 bucks in 2013 to uh 264 right now. The way that uh that, that baby's trading though, uh it, it had in the journal this morning they were gonna go after a proxy fight. We'll see whether that's the case. Uh, uh can they get that market going enough and get it up to higher prices that they just make a deal. We go take a look at the XAU, the HUI. Now, both the XAU and the HUI, we're going to need bids on these babies because uh, right now you get the XAU down 14 cents. You're at $80.47. And uh, it looks to me that the flat $80 mark wants to get tested. Now, the $80 mark, folks, is the low, is the high of the low of the last big swing low in the equity gold and silver market, which was on. July 10th. So that's 80 bucks. And the gold bugs index, the HUI, 
It's going to be the same day, I believe. It's the price. It looks a little bit stronger. This is good. So this is down 47 cents at 186. That number, though, that it very well can get to pretty quickly, too, uh, is 184.07. 184.07 is also the high of the low. Uh, that, that price is of the 30th. Now, of the 10th also. Uh, of the 10th also. We go take a look at the uh, NQs. Let's go take a look at the NQs as we come into this close. The NQs out here, they've had a price spread out here pretty good at, out here today. The, the top of the NQs have been 63.25. Uh, the low, which was established this morning at 9.20, uh, was 62.81. So we've had, we've had quite, a, quite a move here. And just in the last few minutes, you definitely, this this selling something. We'll see if we can see what they're selling. We just went from 63.25 to 63.11. And normally in the NQ, folks, that is not a lot of points. But that is a lot of points in the market that we are in right now. Because guess what? The market we're in right now is a very tight, small market. And in fact, you know, when you talk about gold, so check this out. This is pretty wild. And you can, t you can see this when I've been tra trading gold in the, uh, the Nadex platform. The, the volatility inside the gold market, folks, this has been the lowest it's been in seven years. Seven years. Um, and that, you know, is pretty unusual, really. That's, that's the bottom line. But uh, that's why those premiums, that's why when I'd be the, uh, buying or selling uh, that contract, that's why those, those premiums uh, are not in there because the market itself isn't expecting uh, a huge uh, run either way. Let's go to uh, Joe in Lakeland. Hey, Joe, what's going on? Hello, Mr. O'Brien. Hey, How you doing? Um, Tom, uh, BG, uh, Beamer Gold, is that still there? Uh, yeah, you know, it, the, it now it was, it's called, they, they, they're still around, but it's a different, it's B2B Gold uh, now or something. B2B Gold, I think. Okay. Um, I'm more interested in these lots uh, you have in Pinellas Park. Do you have any room for four more? That's the question. The yeah, I don't have lots in Pinellas Park, Joe. I got them in St. Pete. Oh, St. Pete. Yeah. Do you have four that are just waiting for me to get all jump on? <laughs> I'm I'm happy to go over uh, with you what I do have left. No no problem. Okay. Doesn't sound like there's four there because that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's, there's more than four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very interested. Okay. And uh, I guess I'll call back after the show. I, I can give you a buzz later. Sure. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. 877-927-6648. The, so the NQs just went flat. This is, what a market, man. Uh, you got you to gotta love it. Uh, the, uh, we're at 6309. We started out this morning at 63.12. You got up to uh, 63.25. Yeah, it's not a, not, a, not a big deal. If we go take a look at the Qs, what you have with the Qs is this, is that you've done 10 million shares. We came down Thursday with 40 million. So 153.77 is the number to keep your eye on out here today. Right now, 153.71. And what that is, the reason that would be the number to keep your eye on is that we got over that number this morning. We close under it. It's subtle, but that would be a failure. And uh, we'll see whether that failure holds for 24 hours. The, um, we go take a look at uh, Inico Eagle AEM. So uh, AEM trading $45.07. This is building a little cause coming off the, it's a, it's a large consolidation, but what you also have is you have a high volume spike at 47.32. Uh, so I do expect that that high volume spike will get tested uh, once again. We take a look at the, uh, let's go over to Disney. So you get, you get big action inside the cable companies. You get action inside the streaming companies. And you got action inside of Disney. Disney's been this big consolidation. Uh, the top of the consolidation is 122. The bottom is 90. Um, and it looks like, guess what? This, this wants to dig its way back into the 105 to 115 area. 
Uh, we just did have this afternoon is that we'll find out where that's sh shaking out. You just had the uh, CEO of uh, the New York Cable Network uh, just uh, give his explanation very quickly. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials are up 18. NASDAQ is up 2. S&Ps are up 2.5. Coming right back. Larry Pezzavento and John Jameson are teaming up for a live hour-long webinar Wednesday, November 15th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time titled The Hidden Secrets Behind Trading and Investing in Cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are some of the most volatile trading markets in the world right now, and this is a webinar that you will not want to miss. In this live 60-minute webinar, John and Larry will discuss a variety of topics, including where cryptocurrencies trade and how to get started, how to recognize supply and demand in cryptocurrencies, and the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum, and why knowing this one piece of information puts you in the top 1% of cryptocurrency traders, as well as many more topics. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the information and to sign up today for Fibonacci 24-7, and we'll see you Wednesday, November 15th, for the hidden secrets behind trading and investing in cryptocurrencies. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 25. The Nasdaq's up uh, 4. S&Ps are up uh, 3.5. And, and, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see it's holiday time again. It's pretty amazing. And we have the Salvation Tiger Dollar special going. This just started today. Uh, it goes till December 3rd. Uh, the way this works is that you can uh, buy Tiger Dollars and you get a bonus, number one. And the way this one is going to work is that you get a 25% bonus on anything that you buy. Um, and then on top of that, uh, if you the, the, the minimum purchase is 500 So bottom line is if you uh, buy uh, $500 worth of Tiger Dollars, uh, you're going to get uh, 650 uh, in Tiger Dollars. Okay, And then what ends up happening is that we will donate 5% uh, of anything under a thousand dollars dollar purchase to the Salvation Army. Anything a thousand and over, we will purchase ten uh, 
uh, we will donate 10%. Now, this is donated in your name, folks. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've been doing this a long time with the Salvation Army. It's really cool how they have it set up. So what ends up happening is that we send them your name. We tell them we send them the money. Bottom line, they send to you the tax um, receipt so that you can take that off your taxes. It's a, it's a great way of, number one, uh, getting a 25% bonus uh, on anything that you buy at TFNN. There's no expiration. They're totally transferable. And then on top of that, uh, you get a tax write-off for either 5% or 10%. So just to go over that again, uh, if, you, if you get a newsletter now or you want one in the future, you can mark your number inside how many target dollars you want. You're going to get 25%. Bonus on top of whatever, whatever number you mark in. If it's a thousand or over, we're going to do donate an additional 10% in your name to the Salvation Army. If it's under a thousand, we're going to donate 5%. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. We just started it today. This is going to go till December 3rd. That way, we get plenty of bread to uh, get that Christmas cheer uh, to all the folks uh, that the Salvation Army uh, help each and every day. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with. More numbers after the close. We also have our man, Mr. Chris Gaffney, coming up at quarter past, uh, at 4.15. We're talking markets. Come right back, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid. Form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all the time and to not only you but some of the others sure. to you know get an idea where the fish might be biting as far as your services they're a bargain when you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred and you can get access and ask questions forever you know it's a great deal no, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. now Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Or it's getting cold in this beautiful country of ours. Oh, baby. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share the love that you have inside of you. That is the love that'll make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 17, NASDAQ up 6, S&P's up 2.5, gold contract up $3.80, trading at $12.78 an ounce, silver. Up 16 cents, 17 dollars and four cents an ounce. Copper, bidding copper up four and a half pennies, 312 a pound. Light sweet crude flat, 56 dollars 71 cents a barrel. Notes, 10 year note down two ticks, 124.20. 30 year bond up to 152.12. Now interest rate structure. 
You get the 10-year right now at 2.400. If we take a look at the aspect of where we've been the last six months, the low for the last six months is 2.03. This is on the 10-year. The high is 2.46. We take a look at the last year. The low is 2.03. The high is 2.6. Interesting, the same number. Same number. So we just flipped that over uh, in November, and we're at 2.4. So we're we're closer to the high than the middle. King dollar. What do we have for King dollar? King dollar had a hard time holding price once again today. King dollar up 117 ticks, 94.395. The euro is trading at 116 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 113 and a half to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Cash S&P, we're 25.84. You're right at the highs. We, the first time we hit 25, um, well, if we can go back to, let's see, the 23rd of October, we're at 25.78. We'll be kind of at the same spot here, um, give or take uh, five or ten points for basically a couple weeks. Dow, Dow excuse me, folks, Dow Industrials, Laying right at the highs, you're up 17 bucks, you're at 23,439. The actual intraday high is 23,602. Your closing high is approximately 23,557. In the composite, the NASDAQ composite, same setup, composite, up six and a half dollars today. You're at 60, 67.57. Your high out there is 67.95. And the NDX 100, which has been the powerhouse, uh, that's up $7. That's at 63.16. Your high is 63.46. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract, folks, on Friday. Uh, bottom line, big, big trade. They didn't get it down. They got it down 10 bucks, $5 billion trade. That's saying that there were buyers on the other side of that trade, which is pretty amazing. You know, gold on Friday went from 1287 to 1273. Today, uh, you're up 370. You're trading 1277. Uh, you did have the 13F filings come out today, uh, and that's going to help the gold market uh, somewhat. The reason being is that you had Ray Dahlia, who runs Bridgewater, who's one of the most successful hedge fund guys out there. Bottom line, he was out there um, a couple months ago saying, hey, listen, you should be buying gold. Uh, you know, physical gold, GLD, something, you know, not a too... Uh, hedge your portfolio of 5 to 10 percent. Uh, bottom line is that as we, he was actually saying that, uh, he had bought sevenfold of what he already had um, from the last filing. So he bought an additional 3.3 million shares of the GLD. Uh, you had uh, Fidelity also come in. Fidelity uh, now, and this is unusual, you don't see Fidelity uh, holding this much gold. Fidelity holds 2.3 8% of the GLD right now. They hold 6.7 million shares. BlackRock uh, is the biggest one, but that's the ETF structure. Paulson, who used to be the biggest one, he owns 4.3. So Paulson owns 1.5% of the GLD. Um, Bridgewater's right behind him now. Bridgewater owns 1.3%. Uh, those numbers, by the way, uh, they're always late. They're The first day they come out, which was today, they're 45 days after the close. So you actually, you know what they had on September 30th. You don't know what they have right now. Many times what I've found is this, though. If you see the big dogs coming in, they don't come in all at once. Uh, I like the idea that Fidelity's in there because what does end up happening, they've been in the gold market for a long period of time. Uh, in fact, when I started the gold report, uh, gold, the only company that an institution actually owned uh, was Gold Corp, and that was Fidelity. Uh, they were the only, it was pretty amazing, actually, looking at that. So if we pull this up again, I'm just going to pull up Gold, Gold, um, Gold Corp just in general. Nope, they're not in there, but uh, a lot of buyers in there, a lot of buyers. Actually, we'll go over to Wrangell Resources because Fidelity does like Wrangell Resources. Let me see what they're doing with Wrangell. Um, okay, so they, they came in and bought another 149000 of Wrangell. They own 3.6% 3, 3 of Wrangell Resources. Not bad. Uh, we can go through, we'll go through some of the, more of those as uh, the program moves on. 
We take a look at the uh, King dollar out here. So King dollar, folks, uh, since last April, this is the first bounce that it's actually decent bounce it's had. King dollar, was it $90 or was it 90.795 on September 8th? You're at 94.390 right now. Uh, it is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. That being said, looks like we get sellers once again. Good old King Dollar has to get outside of 94,615. Because once it got sucked inside that bar again, that's where we broke out from. Bottom line, you can get right back into this 93,365 area. So we'll see uh, when you put King Dollar on a much larger continuous contract, what you're going to see uh, is this has been a one-way trade. King dollar topped out on the 3rd of January of 2016, of 2017 rather, at 103, uh, straight down to 90. You're at 94. You know, this could be a ABC structure down into that uh, 88 area. You stay right there, folks, and we'll be coming back with our man. Mr. Chris Gaffney, the president of Everbank World Markets. Dow Industrials closed up 17. NASDAQ up 6.5. S&P's up 2.5. Coming right back, folks. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now, uh, they closed up 17. You had the NASDAQ uh, close up 6. S&Ps closed up 2.5. Uh, gold contract. Gold contract out here up 
three dollars and seventy cents trading to twelve seventy seven ninety. Uh, silver, silver also caught a bid. Silver is up sixteen cents, seventeen dollars and three cents an ounce. And good old King Dollar, King Dollar folks still having a hard time holding price. King Dollar uh, traded up one hundred and seven ticks, ninety four point three eighty five. Uh, bottom line, uh, inside of King Dollar, though, uh, it seems that uh, right since actually April 3rd, uh, this is the first uh, dead, well, first bounce that we've got uh, inside King Dollar since then. Uh, but it seems like a, a seller is still just laying out there, just giving it to King Dollar uh, on an incredible uh, basis. Some of the higher volume stocks that we had out here uh, in this market out here today, let's go through... GE, GE got uh, the GE got uh, smoked in, in a big way. GE was down a dollar forty-seven, folks, trading at a price point of nineteen oh two. Pretty amazing when you you, you watch uh, what, what what has happened with uh, GE. Uh, they cut their dividend. Uh, bottom line is that you had volume out here of two hundred and sixty million shares today. Big big numbers. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Chris Gaffney, the president of EverBank World Markets. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN. On the right-hand side, you'll see the banner. You can hit that banner, bring it up. Uh, you're going to see we're going to be talking about the three-year market-safe emerging currency uh, CD. This is a pretty amazing type of product. I'm sure you, you know many of you have had heard, heard Chris before. Uh, we're going to have him walk you through exactly how this market-safe CD works. Chris Gaffney, welcome back to TFNN. Thanks, Tom. It's always great to be here with you. I'm telling you, I, you know, I. I love your products. A lot of uh, clients love your products. And every time you come up with these, you know, we had a couple clients uh, that, that did call and they were elated. Uh, well, I didn't realize that you were listening to your clients and, you, you know, this one went from a five year to a three year. So right, this is pretty right. cool, man. Yeah. So, so tell us about it. Well, we, we try to uh, always try to come up with products that, you know, the clients are asking for. And, and this one in particular, um, we listened to them. They, they wanted a shorter term. Our market safes run anywhere from, you know, three to seven years. And, and they wanted a shorter okay. term, and they wanted something with some leverage. So yes. what this market safe does, it, it's, it, it's based on five different emerging market currencies, the Brazilian real, Chinese renminbi, Indian rupee, Indonesian rupiah, and Turkish lira. Yes. And we take and 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 what we're going to do is we're going to measure the um, performance of those five emerging market currencies uh, over the three-year term. Okay. And then the upside on this CD is going to be based on those five currencies, what the, what the performance is, and we're going to multiply that by seven. So there's, there's uh, seven times leverage in this. So let's say those CD, uh, those uh, currencies go up. Um, two percent over the uh, three-year period. Yes, uh, you're going to get two times seven, fourteen percent return on your CD. If they go up twenty percent, you're going to get a hundred and forty percent return. So it, there's no upside cap on this. And as with all of our market safes, Tom, um, your principal is protected. So if if those currencies drop in value during that three-year period, you're going to get your your return of your principal back. So it, it's really a, a, a great way to, um, you know, play in, in a, what can be a very volatile oh, uh, market yeah. and uh, have your principal protected. And it, it, you, you said, it. I mean, folks, let me tell you something. You don't want to be trading in currency markets, period. That, that's, 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 a, that's a reality. The cool thing is that you can take something long term. And as you said, your principal is protected, which is amazing. Now, let, can we let's walk through. Um, just how you open the account, because what's sure. really cool here, folks, is this. Once you get an account open with EverBank, right, they have a lot of different products they have. You know, we talk a lot about, you know, the market safe CDs, but guess what? You get mortgages. You got the metals accounts. There's a lot of accounts that you can get into, um, and they have the top 5%. They guarantee that our yield top, pledge. Yes. Yeah, our, our yield pledge is that we're going to stay within the top 5% of our competitors on on on, on yields on our uh, checking and money market accounts. So, uh, and, and you get those accounts when you, when you apply for this market safe. If you when you go out yes. online and and click, uh, you'll you'll apply. You're going to get what's called a cash management account with this market safe, and and that's going to be a yield pledge checking account 
that is uh, totally free. There's there's no charges associated with it, and again, you're going to get some great interest while you're while you're holding it in U.S. dollars, and that allows you to to move money in and out of the world market. So yes. whenever you have dollars sitting in the sidelines, they're going to be earning a great rate of return uh, while you're waiting to get it invested either into the market safes, the metals, the currencies, anything else that we do. Sure. And folks, their phone number, you can come right on our website and hit it. You can actually give them a call at 855-750-4051. You know, you can tell them you want to open an account. You can tell them you want to open the emerging market account. Uh, now, what also happens, folks, is this. You know, it's FDIC insured. It's also IRA eligible. And this is something you really also want to wrap your head around because there's plenty of folks that you may think that, you know, you have a self-directed IRA, but you actually can have a self-directed IRA and you're the boss. How cool yeah. is that, right? And it's a—it's just fifteen hundred dollars is the minimum deposit. So it's—it's it's not like you have to commit all of your IRA funds into this one one investment. Yes. Fifteen hundred dollars, um, great way, you know, principal protected. And again, we've talked about it before. You know, in an IRA especially, it, it, you really want to make sure that that principal is protected in an IRA account. You want it—you want it to be there um, when you when you need it. So uh, it's a great product to put in an IRA account. Emerging markets have, have done well this year on the equity side. You know, they're the top performing asset class. Um, and, and we think there's a lot of potential in that uh, emerging market currencies to, to really perform. And again, with that seven times leverage, um, this is just something that I think uh, is a great uh, investment for, for investors looking to, um, you know, get some, uh, sure. get some leverage in, on the emerging markets without any risk to their principal. And you know, folks, you know, there's the fifteen hundred is the minimum, but and there's not a maximum, right? I mean, they can send in a hundred grand, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we've got uh, uh, we we had one issue of this uh, earlier. We've we've done this is our second issue of this, uh, uh, and it was very well received. That's why we had a second issue. So we had a lot of very large investors in the first issue, and and uh, you know the the funding deadline on this one is December or November 16th rather. So it's it's right around the corner. Um, we have a little bit of uh, leeway built into that, but you know okay. if, if you're thinking about doing it, you need to get out there on your web website, uh, click that link or call that number on your website and, and uh, make sure you get it applied for. And their phone number again, folks, is 855-750-4051. Or just come over to our website at TFNN, hit the Everbank banner, bring it up. You can open the account, simple. And then, of course, you're going to have all the Everbank products. Chris Gaffney, thank you so much. It's hard to believe that, you know, we're in November. We're going to start talking 2018. Oh, my God. Like, time just flies, right? It does. It does. We'll have to do a quick wrap-up of the markets here. But, uh, yeah, and it's been a wild year, and, and yeah. you know, it's going to be more of the same next year, I think. Uh, you know, these markets are are uh, certainly, you know, we're, we're – we're entering territory that's kind of unpredictable with all the negative interest rate policies and the reversal of, of those and, and see what's going to happen. No so. doubt. Thank you so much. You have a great one, safe one, Chris. We look forward to having you on again. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. We had the Dow Industrials uh, finish up 19. Uh, we had the um, 17, rather. The NASDAQ up 6. S&P is up 2.5. Uh, and you know the uh, the tax bill, folks. Uh, that's there's going to be that's all we're going to be uh, basically talking about for the next six weeks here. It's going to be really intriguing to see exactly what is in it and what isn't in it, and uh, who actually uh, you know there's going to be winners and losers, man. There's no two ways about that. Now, uh, one of our tigers in the den just put this across. The House committee approved small business tax changes. And this one's interesting in the aspect, uh, let me just run this through for you for a second. House and Ways Means Committee last uh, week approved a revised bill that would lower taxes for many business owners. Senate Republicans are also proposing changes in the tax law. The House bill provides a 25% tax rate for many sole proprietors, partners, and shareholders in what are known as S-corporations. These uh, uh, owners uh, have what they call pass-through companies because their business income is not taxed at the company level but passes to their 1040 returns. The bill also creates, now listen to this one, this is a trip. The bill also creates a 9% rate for the first 75000 in earnings by some smaller pass-throughs. I want to see what that is. I mean, <laughs> you can open 10 smaller pass-throughs at seventy five grand. That wouldn't be bad. That's pretty sick, actually. Uh, the Senate bill would also let business owners deduct some earnings and pay individual rates on the rest. Several small business groups have long advocated for a change in tax rates because some owners' business income has been taxed at individual rates as high as 39.6% under current law, while corporate tax rate has been 35. Uh, the tax bill also includes numerous proposal changes in individual taxes, including a consolidation of the current seven taxes into four. The top rate would be 38.5%. Both bills would drop the corporate tax rate to 20%, but the Senate bill would delay the effective date for a year. They would also allow for larger deductions of some kind of equipment purchases. Um, the House's bill treatment of pass-through taxes was more generous than an earlier proposal that would have allowed only 30 percent of the owner's business income to be taxed at the 25 percent level. Small business advocates were split about the revised House bill. Uh, it includes real tax relief, allowing small business owners to keep more of their money and invest in growth and create jobs. Um, the CEO of the National Federation of Independent Business. Um, the thing that's intriguing, you know, uh, when I was talking about this, when they were talking about last week, the um, 
write-off for the real estate folks. Um, what will happen uh, if, in fact, they, the state, let, let's picture the state taxes. Um, if you're in one of these, New Jersey, Massachusetts, New York, California, Seattle, um, that pay a lot of state taxes, uh, what I suspect will happen inside the real estate business there, everyone's going to be in an LLC. Because what really makes zero sense, but doesn't mean that it won't go through, is that on an LLC, even in the real estate business, in those jurisdictions, you can write everything off versus the individual that is a 1040 worker cannot, or a W-2 worker. That's the thing that's really, you know, I think what that's a lot of all of our beefs are that, you know, if you're a W-2 worker, you're, the amount of write-offs are very small compared to a company or a pass-through. And that's where the aspect of is something fair or not fair comes into it. Now, when I look at what they're saying here, you're going to see the same type of deal because what happens on a pass-through is that I believe in a couple of these bills what you have is that you have a 100% deduction for equipment ASAP, right? Now, let I, you know, the bottom line, I, I'd love that, okay? We buy a lot of equipment, okay? I just want to explain both sides of it because sometimes it, it – well, it's not fair. The reason it wouldn't be fair, if you, okay, here, this is how this shake out. Let's picture, you know, we have, oh, I don't know, two or $300,000 of radio equipment in there. Bottom line, each piece, some of those pieces are 10, 10, 15 grand, right? So what ends up happening is that if you bought the equipment right now, since the 2008 crash, you could write them off quicker. But in this particular case, they're saying, okay, write off the first year. So if you can write off the first year, what happens immediately is that, of course, that's money that's not going to come into my personal returns so I can write it off, right? Okay, so now pitch that. That's good. That's, I'd like that, right? Now watch this, though. That Let's picture that you're a service worker and you're just a W-2 worker. And then you get paid. And then you do want to buy something that a piece of equipment, but it's not a business. And you still want a better life. Well, the bottom line is that you have to, this is where this gets pretty wild, is that you got to buy it. That's on after-tax money. You can't write it off. You know, I, and I understand the concept that, you know, one, you're supposed to, their theory is that if you if I have a fast write-off, you're going to hire more people and all that. Yeah, I, I believe that's the case. And that would happen because small businesses, I believe, do put, huge amounts of money back into the business. We do. We do on a continual basis. My point more than anything, though, is that they got to figure out something where it's not just the companies that get the tax breaks because that's, that's where this whole thing comes down. And the other, they're, they're scrambling, and they're scrambling in a big way uh, to try to figure out how they're claiming that middle class is getting a tax break. Well, you start doing the numbers on the middle class that's in any of those high-tax states, and more than likely, if they're getting a tax break, it's very minimal. And more than likely, they're probably not getting a tax break because depending on whether your property taxes are, whether the state taxes are, um, if, they have to, if they can't write that deal off, it's going to be a big difference. So I suspect that as we go through this, uh, we'll find out... Uh, what is going to come down the pike, and then how are the Senate and the House uh, going to basically get that together? You know what the, the amazing thing to me is that, that they've known about this forever, right? And it's like, okay, so why did the Senate say they got to start from scratch? You know, it's politics. I, I, just, I, I know that's what that it is. Uh, but uh, you talk about not being together, well, that's, that's about as good as you get, okay? They're talking about, they've been talking about taxes forever. You think they'd have a tax bill uh, that they would have and they'd have some sort of equilibrium between the House and the Senate as to what it is instead of throwing a couple uh, big roadblocks up in between them. Because thus far, it looks to me that uh, we have roadblocks more than anything, you know. And 
We'll see where it shakes out. 877-927-6648. Let's go over and take a look at that good old GE. GE, this is a, this is a heavy deal. You know, uh, GE, you talk about uh, down on 260 million shares. They cut their dividend in half today. This had the high volume swing low was going after, which it took apart today like, like butter. That's uh, 1937. And game is the high of the low, 1135. And that's going to be a mind blower uh, that if you have a company uh, like GE, it's down to the depression levels of uh, 2009. You stay right there, folks. We come right back. Dow Industrials finished up 17, NASDAQ up 6, S&P's up 1.5. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. As you come over to our website at TFN, we get a lot of action over here uh, this month, uh, folks. We have the Salvation uh, do Tiger Dollar Special. That just started today. Uh, the way that works is that uh, you can buy Tiger Dollars. You we give you a 25% bonus. Let's say you buy 1000 you're going to get an additional $250. A Tiger Doll is a good on any product at TFNN, totally transferable, no expiration date. And then on top of that, of course, this is our Salvation Army Tiger Doll special. And we give, if you buy $1,000 or more, we give 10% in your name to Salvation Army. If it's, 1, 000, if it's a less than $1,000, we give 5% in your name to the Salvation Army, uh, they actually send you the tax receipt so that you can take that off on your taxes. 
Um, then we got our man, Mr. Ba um, Larry Pezzavento, uh, this Wednesday. Uh, this Wednesday, he's doing a subscriber event, November 15th. And what this is all about, this is going to be amazing, folks, because uh, John Jameson, uh, who uh, Larry knows, we've had him on. We had him on, on actually this morning. Tommy and I had him on this morning. They're going to be talking about the hidden secrets behind, tra behind trading and investing in cryptocurrencies. This is going to be really an exciting one hour. Uh, what John is going to try to do in that hour is get you to understand what is a cryptocurrency, um, what you should be looking at as these things progress. Uh, his goal is uh, basically to get up to, to get us all up to speed and to uh, be in the uh, top 1% of uh, folks that really understand what is the investment opportunity behind cryptocurrencies, what it's all about. Uh, so check that out. And the way that it works, you just you go on our website, at TFNN. You, um, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, Larry's newsletter. You get that, you're in the workshop. Then our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, we got action. It's a beautiful thing out here. So uh, if we take a look at... Uh, that's done the, on the third in the carousel, opening call, subscriber event. That's going to be on November 20th. This is going from 5 to 6.30. Uh, and as I just said to uh, Chris Gaffney, guess what? 2018 is coming at us. Uh, and what this workshop is about is that what we can anticipate for 2018. Uh, this is going to be Monday, November 20th. That's uh, Thanksgiving week. And, of course, uh, Thanksgiving week, uh, it's always a great week. Love Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Get that turkey going. Uh, bottom line is that uh, that's going to be from uh, 5 to 6.30. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to uh, walk you through uh, what he anticipates in 2018. So check it all out. It's on the front page of TFNN. And we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. The, um, some of the higher volume stocks out here. Well, here, let's go to uh, GE was a standout out here today. Roku. Roku, this is pretty amazing. So Roku, folks, uh, that closed at that the year, the lows 1575, the highs 47. The highs 47, this stock was at $18 three days ago. $18.56, uh, and it closed at 1864 on November 8th. And bottom line, you're at $42.71. And this is the streamer. Uh, bottom line, they make their dollars on the equipment. They make their dollars on advertising. They make their dollars on subscriptions. Uh, they're getting a piece of uh, just about uh, a few different things out there. Now, that being said, what you also have here, and this is pretty intense, because when we started the day out, this had a 26 0.4% shot interest, one out of every four shares. It looks to me, I mean, I, I can't wait to see what this thing looks like tomorrow because if you took that kind of heat from $18 to $42, I, I, well, it actually went to $47. Um, I suspect that um, many of those uh, shots probably got called in because that's 100% uh, loss. Let me just see. Yeah, so it's 4.8 million shares a shot out of 18.1 million shares. Big number. And I'm just curious. We'll pull this up because we got all these 13 F numbers out here today, too. Look at that. Oh, man. So check this out. Do you know who scored Beyond Belief on this, baby? I bet this come out, too. Look at this. So Fidelity, holy cow. Fidelity came in. This is pretty intense, folks. Fidelity actually owns 70% of this company. I'm glad I just pulled this up. This is, so they're filing September 30th. Yeah, this is the filing. They bought 12.7 million shares. That's amazing. That's very unusual you see that. You get Citigroup with 1.2 million shares. Uh, Mass Mutual has 460,000. Pretty intense. Yeah. Fidelity, so, wow. So Fidelity got the bulk. Let me just see something else. They got the bulk of that. I just want to see who brought them public. So Morgan Stanley, Al, Bruce, uh, Citigroup, and RBC. 
brought them public. Man, Fidelity wrapped that baby up. There's, there's a nice little score for you. That's, that's quite a, that's quite a wrap-up. You don't see that. That's, that's intriguing. Uh, bottom line, no. Uh, little rocket ship, no doubt about it. NVDA, let's go take a look at NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA still up at these highs. Uh, down 351 today, but bottom line, um, you get another small ABC up. That's what it looks like. Your A point on this is 191. Your B's uh, 212. So you're talking about what? Well, you're talking about 20 points. Get you 220. And we hit, oh, I see. It's probably, no, it already actually did it. 218. So it really did hit that uh, ABC uh, up. Did it uh, once again. The, um, we go take a look at Boeing. Yeah, the story about Boeing. Tommy was telling the story about Boeing this morning. This is pretty incredible between Boeing and Airbus. Uh, Boeing was up $1.57 today, trading 250, $262. And this is about as intense as you get. Uh, Airbus thought they were coming out uh, this morning and getting a $15 billion order. And what happened is that uh, the things flipped around. And guess what? It, when they come out, the order uh was for Boeing versus Airbus. And of course, uh let me get this. I I gotta get this in front of me because this is just so far over the top, it's unbelievable. Uh at the Dubai Air Show this week, Airbus uh and Boeing are once again renewing their sparring over who's booked the most orders. Um and I'll, I'll find the rest of it. Bottom line is that Airbus uh, didn't get the order from uh, Empress. Uh, it, Boeing did. And uh, you talk about a $15 billion. Imagine losing a $15 billion order and you lose it the day that it was supposed to be announced. I'm not quite sure how uh, they get so tight and they come right up to the day that's going to get announced and uh, the documents aren't signed yet. It seems that most that with a lot of air orders anyway, is that they keep always announcing these air orders for these huge planes. And they, they, they do tell you when there's options inside of them and they can always seem to cancel quite a few of them. You never get that information as much as you get that, I bought this many, but inside of that, folks, there's always criteria that they can basically dump quite a few of them. You stay right there, folks, come right back. Larry Pezzavento and John Jameson are teaming up for a live hour-long webinar Wednesday, November 15th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time titled The Hidden Secrets Behind Trading and Investing in Cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are some of the most volatile trading markets in the world right now, and this is a webinar that you will not want to miss. In this live 60-minute webinar, John and Larry will discuss a variety of topics, including where cryptocurrencies trade and how to get started, how to recognize supply and demand in cryptocurrencies, and the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum, and why knowing this one piece of information puts you in the top 1% of cryptocurrency traders, as well as many more topics. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the information and to sign up today for Fibonacci 24-7, and we'll see you Wednesday, November 15th, for the hidden secrets behind trading and investing in cryptocurrencies. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And, uh, you know, we were just talking about our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, with John Jameson doing the um, workshop this coming Wednesday night about cryptocurrencies. Well, uh, last night, it was quite a ride. You had the uh, Bitcoin go from $6,814 down to 5605 And guess what, folks? It's trading at 6546 right now. How's that? You have a spread of $1,200. Pretty amazing. Now... If anyone owns Buffalo Wild Wings, God bless you. Because guess what? Buffalo Wild Wings closed at $117. It's trading $148 right now. Let's look at this. So uh, this has been a tough stock. I mean, the stock is down. It's down pretty big. Uh, the high in the stock was uh, 205. It closed at 117 right now. It's trading at 145. And what this is all about is that you have a buyer coming in. Um, that wants to buy uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. It looks like it's a private equity firm. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, Roac Capital made an offer of more than 150 a share. Uh, the Wall Street Journal just reported, citing un unidentified people with knowledge of the matter. Um, that puts the market cap at 2.3 billion, uh, and that is a jump of 27% uh, overnight. So uh, bottom line, you know, if you own Buffalo Wild Wings right now, well, you're, you're in pretty good shape. Uh, BWLD, and this is an equity that uh, I guess they'll probably try to bring it private, fix it up again, and push it out again. You know, because you, you are down from that price point of 205. It took the next leg down. Uh, last month it got into uh, $95. And uh, what's holding that up is the uh, 90 bucks, 80 bucks, 88 dollars from February of 2012. That's kind of how that thing is laid out. Uh, and there's no doubt that good old Buffalo Wild Wings uh, need uh, need some help. There's no there's no two ways about that. They, I can't even figure out why they've made so much. They're not growing anymore. They did two billion last year, 2.1 billion this year, and they expect to do 2.1 billion next year. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever your focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you, folks. Go have a blast with it. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.